In this video, we will try to learn how to find the revenue function and marginal revenue function from a given demand function. Let us say uh, for a given product, uh, the relationship between the price and quantity is given by, that is, the relationship between price and quantity is given uh, P is equal to 30 minus 3Q. This is the relationship between price and the quantity of the product. And this is also called the inverse demand function. Okay. Now, from this uh, demand function, how do we calculate the revenue function? First, uh, we will write the revenue function. A revenue function. Revenue function is given by, that is, uh, revenue is given as the function of the quantity that is how much uh, revenue does a firm earn from the quantity of the product sold okay the relationship between uh, the quantity of product sold and the revenue generated is given by this very revenue function okay we can say that revenue is the function of the quantity sold okay Similarly, marginal revenue, marginal revenue, marginal revenue, uh, which we write like this, marginal revenue is also the function of quantity. That is, how much additional uh, revenue will a firm get by selling one extra unit of product? Okay, and this is also given by this is also the function of the quantity sold okay now let us say we are given this very demand function so we are given price is function of quantity demanded that is 30 minus 3 q this is our demand function or uh, the inverse demand function now uh, to find the revenue function uh, revenue function uh, from this very demand function what will we do let us uh, denote total revenue or let us say this is total revenue total revenue and this is also total revenue okay now how do we find the total revenue from the given demand function okay so total revenue is simply uh, the price times quantity okay so P into Q gives us the total revenue. This is our P. P is equal to 30 minus 3Q. So in place of P, I can write this 30 minus 3Q. So I will write, let us say 30 minus 3Q is P uh, times Q into Q. Okay. So this is our total revenue function, which comes out to be. So we multiply this 30 with this Q. So this is 30 Q minus 3 and Q into Q is Q square. So we can say our total revenue function is 30 Q minus 3 Q square. Okay. This is our total revenue function. So I will write this is total, total revenue function okay from the total revenue function uh, we will be able to find the marginal re marginal revenue function marginal revenue is simply so i will write here marginal marginal revenue which is denoted by mr is simply that is the derivative of the total revenue function with respect to quantity that is uh, d uh, in this case we have dr divided by d q so i will write this is d and d this is not a partial derivative here okay so change in uh, what does this dtr divided by dq tells us it tells us how much additional revenue we get by uh, selling an extra unit of the product that is change in the total revenue uh, with change in one unit of quantity sold quantity of the product sold okay 
this is given by uh, simply differentiating the total revenue function with respect to quantity okay here we have 30 q first the derivative of q is simply uh, the derivative of q is simply 0 okay so we will get 30 into 0 which is equal to sorry the derivative of q is 1 uh, uh, so we will get 30 into 1 that is equal to 30 minus we have this 3 okay the derivative of q square is uh, 2q because this 2 will become the coefficient so this will become 3 into 2 and we have q and exponent is subtracted by 1 that is 2 minus 1 which comes out to be 30 minus 3 to the 6 q so this is our marginal revenue function okay so i will uh, show you how do we actually get um, q is equal to 1 the uh, rule that we use here is the power function rule by power function rule what do we mean let us say we are given y is equal to x to the power n if we want to differentiate uh, y with respect to x that means we will right change in y with respect to change in x okay how much y changes with change in x okay so how do we differentiate we take this exponent as coefficient so n becomes the coefficient here x times n minus 1 okay now using the same rule here the derivative of q so we were given here uh, let us say total revenue was given only q what would be the derivative of q simply we write d dr divided by dq okay as we know when no exponent is given the exponent is at that time 1 so this is actually q to the power 1 because q to the power 1 is equal to q so this one becomes coefficient here okay we have then q and this one is subtracted by one that is one minus one and we get here one into uh, q to the power zero and we know that anything raised to the power zero that is one into anything raised power to the zero is equal to one and we get here one that is how do i uh, how do we get q the derivative of q is equal to one simply q to the power zero if we have anything let us say five to the power zero is equal to one x to the power zero is equal to one and uh, in that case anything any anything raised to the power zero is equal to one so we use this uh, power function rule so we can say here and uh, the derivative of q in this case i have shown with an example here is equal to one similarly the derivative of uh, q square so i will show here uh, in detail let us say we are given total revenue is equal to q square okay now the derivative of total revenue that is dtr divided by dq is simply what we use uh, what we do we use the power function rule we take this exponent and make it as coefficient that is 2 times q to the power uh, and we subtract uh, the exponent by 1 that is 2 minus 1 and it becomes a uh, 2 now 2 minus 1 is 1 we can write only q so we get this 2q in place of this here this 2 and this q okay this this 2 and q comes from this very uh, rule and this one i have not shown here one actually it is here one so i can write it like this 30 into one so this one comes from this very rule i hope i make myself clear thank you